Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be bringing a how to contour video. I, this is probably so stupid, but I love this little thing. I'm bringing a how to contour cream and powder. I'm using the Natasha Denona Glow Palette. Now, I was given to this by my friend's mother. I will get more into that in the video, but I just love her. Um, I love this on it. So if you guys are lost at contouring, you don't know what the tea is, then keep watching because this is the video for you. So I didn't want to look too bougie or too unpresentable, so I'm going to be using the Farsal Unicorn Essence. You prime. And you know, I gotta do it like... I've recently been trying this, and I like this a lot because it gets... It doesn't feel heavy like an oil, because I think it's oil-free, but it gets like kind of tacky. So now I'm just gonna go with the Lancome Tinty Doll Ultra Wear, Ultra Wear, which I've been liking a lot lately. I'm just going to take this on my, I'm just gonna put on my little metal palette. Now, when you're cream contouring, like I'm going to be doing, you don't need to do, the dog is barking. Now when you're cream contouring like I am, you don't need to do a super full coverage foundation because the cream contouring, it won't add a lot of coverage, but it will add a little bit. I hate doing my eyebrows before I do my face makeup because I feel like I can't get my beauty blender around my eyebrows. I feel like I'm gonna wipe my eyebrows off. And I'm going to do concealer before I do my liquid or my cream contouring because that's what I do. Because I want to be able to conceal my dark so dark circles before I cream contour. And I see people going like crazy with the shape tape. I really feel like you do not need to go that crazy because it's stuff like, like you can even see here, it's like going everywhere. So now I'm gonna get into the actual cream contouring. Don't feel you have to use anything super expensive. I'm using the Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow Palette now. Oh my God, my desk, you can see my little dirty desk. Okay. Um, this was given to me by my friend's mother. Her name is Stace, she is a makeup artist. Not only is she a makeup artist, super talented. If you don't follow her, you should. Um, She's also a mother of five, just had a kid like six months ago. She's banging, she is awesome, and she gave this to me for my graduation. Her daughter and I actually are really close. We've been close since middle school. Um, we won prom king queen together, like, no big deal. But she gave this to me, and I'm forever grateful, and so I'm going to be using this video today. She actually said to me when she gave it to me, she was like, you need to film a contouring video, and I was like, girl, I got you. So I'm going to be taking my my first all rose gold elixir, and a trick with cream contouring is if you feel like the contours aren't malleable enough you can put a drop of this in there so I'm going to do that with the highlight shade I'm gonna go with my highlight first because I find that it's easier to put your highlight first because it prevents it from getting muddy and it just this foundation shade is pretty good for picking it online if I do say so myself so I'm just going to take a like two drops now, I like this stuff a lot. I haven't been using it for very long, but it smells really good, and it, I like it. So I'm going to take, I'm gonna take this Sigma Cream Color Brush, and I'm just gonna go into that and mix kind of the oils in with the, and you can look up different, how to contour for your face shape. I have kind of a skinnier face shape, so I like to bring, my highlight up like this because I feel like it like gives me more of a cat eye. See how this side looks more lifted. I'm just going to go under here a little bit. Highlighting, what you what highlighting does is it brings something forward. So you want to highlight the places that you want to bring forward and you want to contour the places you want to bring back. So contouring would be like around the forehead, on the on the cheekbones, on the sides of the nose, under the lip. I'll show you. For the contour, I'm gonna be doing the same thing. I'm gonna do about two drops. And I'm just going to take this little Urban Decay brush. It says Urban Decay on it, but I don't remember getting this brush from Urban Decay yet. 
put this on my contour areas. Now, you don't want to do too much of this because it because it is more gray based. Contours are more gray based typically because that's what casts a shadow. A lot of times warm colors will cast or will not shadow like a contour color will. And it's all about finding the right shade for you. It's all about finding the right warmth or coolness for your face. My face, I like cool tone, but I don't like too cool tone because then it turns muddy. And I find this Natasha Dona color is perfect, but there's obviously drugstore alternatives. Uh, Make It Forever, or I mean, Make It Revolution has one. You just gotta find what works for you. So for the contour, I'm just gonna take this MAC 141S brush and start blending this out. See, the reason I like that Natasha Dona one is because just look how effortlessly that blends out. Especially with that fresh Charlie oil that we put in. So now for the highlight shades, I'm just going to be taking my beauty blender and just start blending them out. Trying to avoid for both the contour and the highlight, you're gonna you're gonna want to try to avoid move where you placed it. You want to do a lot of up and down motions, and going from like going up and down when you're blending it out because you don't want to do a lot of swiping because that's gonna disturb the foundation under and move the highlight and contour places you maybe perhaps don't want it to go. just want to marry the contours and highlights. With this palette, it comes with creams and, and powders. You can set the powders with the creams, but with this palette specifically, the powder is a little bit too dark to set under my eyes. I use it under my contour though, and the contour is a little too pigmented for me to set this with it. I don't want it to be that strong, but I will put powder and then put contour on top of the powder, the translucent powder, that way it gives it more definition. Air spun, and I'm just going to set my whole face, making sure that there are no creases under my eyes before I set it. I'm just going to dip a little bit into my beauty blender. So I'm just going to take a big brush. kind of buff in and brush away any of the excess powder. So now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna go with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer with a Morphe M551. I'm just going to swirl it in and I was wearing a lot of blush today. I did my makeup earlier, and I was wearing a lot of blush. I looked, I was walking in the mirror, actually. I actually looked in the mirror at the cosmetology school in the bathroom, and I was like, oh my god, I'm wearing a lot of blush. I also got recognized. I was on my tour when we walked into the classrooms of the people who were, were, were going to school, and we walked past the people at their shampoo stations, and a girl recognized me, and she was so cute. So if you are there watching, it was nice meeting you. You were so cute. So I'm just gonna go in with a Morphe M462 with this Sephora eyeshadow that I use as blush. It's not showing up as on camera as much as it is showing up in person, but it's just so pretty. I love this. And I tend to apply blush more up on the cheekbones than down here because I want my face to look more elongated and less like young and youthful. The closer you put on the apples of your cheek, the more youthful your face will look. That's a tip. So quickly, I'm gonna go with some highlight before I go to powder contour. I'm actually gonna take the Ofra Nikki Tutorials highlighter. And now I put it back in the package, but I have tried this and girl, 
let me tell you. Let me show you. Let me not, let me not tell you, let me show you. So I'm gonna go in with this color and mix a little bit of that in, but we'll see that color. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh my God, so glowy that it unfocused. So now I'm just gonna go in with powder contour. I'm just gonna take that same powder from the contour palette that we use the creams, and I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go with the Morphe E48. This is my favorite type to brush to contour because it's like pinpointed, but it's small enough, and it's, I don't know, I just like it. So I'm gonna go in with this powder, and I'm gonna dip off the excess, and I'm just gonna go a little back, to, back and forth in little circular motions, really focusing in the hollow of my cheek and kind of blending it into my hairline. Now you can go up like this, and that's gonna create another, as I said earlier, a more youthful look. It's gonna make your, your the apples of your cheeks look more full, or you can go straight, okay, or even straight and a little bit down, and that's gonna give you more sunken cheek look, which is what I'm going for. I'm going for, I'm going for liposuction cheek realness. I'm going for more black cheekbones. I'm also gonna go with that same powder on my forehead. Not that my forehead is super big, it needs a lot of powdering anyway, but. I'm gonna take a little bit of a smaller brush. I'm gonna take a Morphe 502 with that same contouring shade and I'm gonna go under my lip a little bit. This just gives the appearance that your lip is sticking out more. See what that did? I'm gonna go in with a little bit on my nose. Not a lot. I'm gonna take the Morphe Prep and Set. I like this setting spray a lot. Now what a setting spray does is it sets your makeup in place and it will marry the powders and the creams and everything together. And I like that for this, I like this for that. I like this to marry all the powders and creams together. I feel like it just really does a good job of locking everything together. So I'm just gonna do that. And then after, after I apply it, I'm gonna quickly blow it in, dry it down with this fan. I learned that if you put on setting spray and quickly fan it down, it helps to set everything down. And I don't really like it. Plus, it's kind of cooling, like, fanning yourself. It feels like, it feels like I'm bougie being like. And also I learned from Laura Lee, if you buff your setting spray in with your beauty blender, it locks it in more. I'm just going to apply a lip gloss and then we are going to finish this up. I'm just applying the Aquarius lip gloss from Colourpop. It's just a super nice nude gloss and I love, 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 love Kathleen, so anything by her or what she loves, I love. So this is the finished look. If you did like this video, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps out my channel a lot. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. So stupid, that was so stupid. <laughs> I will catch you guys on the next one. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Oh, wrong side. So this is the finished look. If you did like 